But we wanted to shoot green screen specifically with the Alexa camera to test the key ability of the camera in a visual effects scenario. Uh, we generally separate red, green, and blue. In most cameras, the blue channel is very weak and grainy, uh, which gives you a very bad key. In the Alexa, it is extremely strong and very, very quiet. These are our uh, Stargate Films design, uh, A-frame for portable green screens. Basically, we start out with an A-frame and uh, a couple of uh, portable wheels that we can we can just place almost any place. The most important about, thing about the green screens is, is setting them up and the time it takes to, to erect them. This saves an enormous amount of time in so much that it's very portable and you can switch from digital to ultimate in a matter of seconds. For the Airy World Cup uh, short film, we were tasked with uh, creating a virtual CG stadium and placing that into the, the footage that was shot with the Airy Alexa. Um, in most cases, uh, we started by match moving and motion tracking the footage that was acquired on set. We would then uh, turn over that match move data. In many cases, it was a, a stabilized or a prepped element from our compositing department, which uh, we work very closely with our 3D department, who was creating all the CG elements. And then we take all those various different passes that include, of course, the CG stadium, various different passes with signage and banners of, of the different vendors and different places that worked on the project, and also multiple passes of uh, the CG crowd. The stadium and World Cup had to be a computer-generated environment because we needed 80,000 people. We wanted complete freedom of lighting and camera angles and whatnot to match uh, what we shot in live action against green screen. As reference, we used uh, the Wembley Stadium just because of the size. It's got ni really nice architecture, nice colors. Uh, the biggest uh, difficulty we had in building the stadium was getting it to look real. Uh, like a lot of the CG we do, the main problem is getting it to look real. And then we had to um, take the lighting from the footage of the soccer players and match the lighting to the stadium. The raw 3D uh, stadium elements uh, now go to compositing so they can put together the, the 3D elements and the footage of the soccer players. Here in the compositing department, we take, in many cases, you know, dozens of different layers and passes, put them all together, um, add motion blur and depth of field and all that other good stuff that makes it look real, and uh, send out the final shots. Well, when we first received the footage from the Airy Alexa camera, I was actually uh, blown away. I've been looking at a lot of footage from many different digital cameras over the last few years, but also I'm very familiar with the look of film footage. Working with material in logarithmic color space is actually a really great thing um, in visual effects. It makes sure that uh, with that logarithmic gamma curve that it retains um, the maximum amount of detail in both the shadows and the highlights. When I first saw this, this footage from the Airy Alexa, it was noticeably cleaner with a lot more dynamic range than almost any camera system I've seen come through the doors. So in terms of dynamic range and latitude, uh, this camera is, is quite impressive. When keying this footage and working with a green screen shot with the Airy Alexa, uh, I was amazed at how clean the, the quality of the image was. Um, very often digital cameras will come in with a little bit of digital noise that will often kind of chew into your edges and, and make keying quite difficult. Uh, in a case of a project like this, where we have a lot of high-speed action, which has a lot of motion blur, um, we were very surprised to see that the edges um, held up with great detail. Uh, and then given the fact that I, I've now realized this is an 800 ISO camera, it is absolutely astonishing how, how clean that sensor is and how little digital noise you're getting uh, with an incredibly sensitive chip. Seeing the final product um, put together, the, the final cut of the World Cup film, um, I was actually amazed um, not only with the amount of, of cool visual effects and everything we did with the CG Stadium, but also the remainder of the footage that was shot on location, particularly at night in low light. Um, I thought the camera was absolutely beautiful and um, for visual effects work, but also just for um, the aesthetics of, of the moving image, I, I thought this camera really held up and was very impressed by the quality of the image. I, I would use the Alexa in any green screen or blue screen application. Um, because at the end of the day, you're trying for an invisible map. So in fact, the Alexa allows us to shoot in situations that we could never see before in green screen and make it look very, very real.